There will certainly be a glass or two raised here this weekend over the Supreme Court's decision south of the border. Seems only fitting that it happened during Pride. And here's a live look at Pride Party Central from the air. Our CTV News Chopper is above Church and Wosley. The weather is cooperating today, but rain or shine, Pride is a go in Toronto. CTV's Scott Lightfoot is on the ground on Church Street, where the party will only grow as we get closer to Sunday's parade. Scott? Bill, it may be raining men and women on Church Street right now, but it's supposed to rain rain throughout the weekend. Still, nothing will stop the celebration here. From the flags to the fashionable hair, pride is everywhere. The balloons have been blown, the beer has been delivered. We've ordered three times as many kegs, uh, bottles, cans, you name it. The party has begun. The stage is set for a busy weekend, but it's a weekend that's expected to be rainy. When it rains often, it comes with rainbow. And between you and I, Mother Nature is a lesbian. Every year she's giving us amazing weather and she will do it again. I'm not worried. Bring it. For some, this is an annual event. I came here in 1980 originally and uh, the bath raids took place and I remember that night when uh, the whole community gathered. Donald Laramie gets emotional as he remembers the changes he's seen over the past 35 years. I'm in my 60s now and I've seen so many changes in my lifetime and they have so much freedom now and you see what's happening in Russia and it's such a, a blessing to live in Canada. We For others, this is a first time experience. I'm celebrating actually my first Pride here in Toronto. I'm actually from Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia, and just moved here two months ago. Pride is a celebration, and today there is a little more to celebrate for many here. A day when the U.S. Supreme Court made marriage legal for all Americans. I started to cry because it's about time and I'm just so sick of fighting over it. These three U.S. citizens are attending their third Toronto Pride, but today they're especially proud to be American. I think it's awesome. It's about time. You guys have had it here for how long? <laughs> Since the get-go. I thought it was pretty cool and definitely overdue. If America is truly the freest country in the world, then we should have all the rights that that comes along with. You can see the crowd starting to gather here. Church Street was closed in both directions within the past hour. The festivities continue tonight through tomorrow, all the way till Sunday and the big parade. And it all goes rain or shine. Pointing live in the village, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Bill, back to you.